Hey guys, this is Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm at the Cycle Springs Power Sports Auxiliary kind of uh, boat service center, if you will. That's where, this is where they take care of all the boats, all the service, skis, all of that. Uh, we're in Oldsmar, Florida today. And uh, they call me when they need something spick and span. So this is how I do it. Anyway, we're on a... Uh, Yamaha 242 Special S right now. I'm going to flip you around. All right, so you can see the boat has got some problems. Um, obviously, that mat has been ripped in half. It's got lots of bugs. Another randomness. Looks like it sits outside. Got to get it all polished up. You can see how hazy that gel coat is. Vinyl's definitely seen better days. All right, we'll step out of this thing. You can see down here, it's all kinds of yucky. Ugh. And the hull definitely needs to be polished. Lacks a lot of gloss. That's all right. I'm actually excited to polish this thing. On these newer uh, newer gel coats, man, they're getting more and more like automotive finishes every single year. Um, my universal all-in-one should knock this out, make it really, really nice. You can see definitely some chalk. All right, well, that's it. We got all these scratches. I don't know that I can do a whole lot with that, but we will see. All right, time to get to work. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the van over and get set up. I just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse of what she looks like now, so that later on in the video, you can see the huge, huge difference I'm gonna make. All right, time to get to work. Okay, so I'm going to attempt. Oh, let me see if I can make this happen. I'm going to attempt, to, I'm gonna to turn it around. Okay, so now you see me. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but what I wanna do is I want you to see me. Ah, uh, it's hard. Um, hold on. There we go, kind of. Sorry, this is so complicated. I want you to see me do a little section of this. I don't know if this will help. Let's see. All right, so. can see it. So what's happened here is I just took the gel coat finishing polish and I just I put a, a line of polish on the gel coat and I've got my DeWalt 849X and the buff and shine pad I told you about in the last segment and then uh, Basically, I just pick up the bead with the pad, just like that, no sling, nothing, and you get a little bit of spread, but it spreads evenly on the pad. And so with, you spread it out at slow speed, and there you go. Um, I'm doing a two foot by two foot section here and um, the thing about these pads is they are angled out like this. 
So if you try to use them flat like this, you're not going to get a, as much work as you think done because you're only going to be having about, this is a seven and a half inch pad, you're probably going to only get four, four and a half inches worth of work done unless you do what I recommend and you use the edge of the pad. Just like so. So now, nothing to it. Wipe off the polish and you've got a crisp, clear, nice looking section of gel coat with lots of gloss. Just like this. And that's it. That's how I recommend you use those pads. Like I said, I'll have them, this is uh, the end of May, 2020. Um, next week I should have them in stock. So I'll have the, the fine grade that I usually use with the finishing polish and I'll have the more aggressive one I use with the gel coat oxidation eater um, on detailjuice.com. But just like you just saw, it looks awesome. It removes all the oxidation got some nasty scuffs but um that's how i do it you pick up the bead you use the edge of the pad you go pretty slow i would say you're not putting any real pressure on it you're just making sure that it stays solidly on the gel coat and can spin properly and i run my polisher at 1800 to 2000 rpm no faster than that the abrasives won't break down properly any less than that or any and and they'll break down too fast if you go more speed than that so 1800 to 2000 rpm uh gel coat finishing polish and the uh buff and shine uh fine grade wool pad if you will so i just wanted to go show you guys how i do that uh live so that you can get a feel for exactly what's happening because I know explaining it to you is not the same as showing it to you. So I hope you guys got a little something out of that. I'm going to rock and roll, keep moving on this boat because uh, I ain't trying to be here all day. So we'll be back with you very shortly. All right, guys, I've done pretty much all but just this section of the uh, port side of this hull. Notice all the gloss and the lack of gloss over here in the top deck. And then boom, amazing. So what I have done, and you can see where the tape line was, I did some testing with three or four different uh, of my, my personal polishes. This is done back here with another tape line. You can see how bad the oxidation was just right there so I still need to polish from that line all the way over to the that line again I did some testing what I'm what I ended up going with and I always test several different things you never just have a I mean you can have a plan going in which is always a good idea but see I've got solitaire out I've got universal all-in-one out I have infinite cut out believe it or not I have all kinds of everything I even brought the uh, gel coat oxidation eater, which I will not be using today because it is not bad enough to use it. That stuff cuts 400 grit sanding scratches out. We do not need anything that aggressive here. So what I ended up going with was the gel coat finishing polish from the Marine Series. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. If you're looking to get the last bit of gloss out of 
basically colored gel coat like you see here, that stuff is gonna do it. That stuff is awesome. Um, I am also using a Buff and Shine dual-sided uh, light cut wool pad. Um, I will be carrying those as well as the more aggressive dual-sided pads here um, that I generally use on white gel coat that's all beat up. But anyway, you can see the huge benefit of just the rotary at 1800 RPM with that pad and the finishing polish. So when you're using a finishing polish, you don't want to use a pad that's overly abrasive either. So you want to step it down to a lighter pad. And that's the pad I would use with the gel coat finishing polish. It's working awesome. So you can see how nasty it is and how amazing that looks. Hey guys. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. You see what's happening. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, finally, we're all done. This is a, I believe, 2014 or 2015 Yamaha 242 Limited S, 24 foot. Looking amazing. It was not looking amazing when we started. <laughs> so I had uh, my wife, Tony. She took care of the interior while I was polishing the outside. You can see some dust and lint from the wool pad. but I got it sweet all right so let's run you down what happened so I cut everything and polished with the same polish it was pretty oxidized but I used my marine series gel coat finishing polish with the seven and a half inch dual sided buff and shine finishing wool pad and it gave me awesome results I then applied my uh, universal clean and prep uh, basically wiped everything down to prep the surface for the ceram acrylics marine series pro hybrid coating and that went on everything on the outside You can see how fantastic this looks, glossy. We hand polished most of this back area because you just can't fit a polisher in there. Um, I had Tony hand polish all the stainless too. This ladder, um, the bimini rails, uh, there's rails up front, but this looks awesome. Um, I am gonna jump inside of it in just a minute, but let me get up on the uh, tongue here. The vinyl was really, really in rough, rough shape. It was all kinds of orange. So I got all that cleaned up and that looks fantastic. It's still really sun beat. At this point, the owner also asked me if the vinyl came out. I said, no, it was too sun beat. I want them to be su surprised when I send them the final pictures. Uh, we hand polished these rails. Uh, all the stainless was polished with my brand new bare metal polish which is not uh it's it's ready for release i just don't have labels yet so i'm gonna go up inside this bad boy <laughs> so those cushions were really bad too they look a lot better so this is where we're at with this i polished that step right there these cushions look fantastic compared to how they did. Uh, we even tried polishing the gauge 
um, lenses, but didn't work out so well. Obviously that piece needs to be replaced. I got a little polish splatter up here from doing a couple of the spots outside. Get those off real quick. And then, uh, so, not a huge deal, but this seal had mold all over it, and so did that vent. So I cleaned all the mold off the seal. Um, I did polish all of the exposed gel coat inside here, inside the uh, interior. So I polished all the edges. You can see that gloss is fantastic. Um, all of that was polished. All the footwells were polished. Still got some discoloration, but look fantastic still. This whole bow was really nasty. It's all glossy now. These areas were really chalky. Look good now. And that's it. Alright guys, so that has been a 20, I think he said it was a 2015 242 Limited S. I am at the Cycle Springs uh, Boat Service Center in Oldsmar. Uh, Cycle Springs is a great company. Um, I have purchased many, many things from them. It's, a, it's an adult toy store basically without the sex <laughs> anyway so uh that's it you got questions for me 813-846-4406 super sunny out here sorry guys i'll do this there we go 813-846-4406 if you got questions for me or if i can help you in your detailing endeavors check out gary dean's detail juice nation it's a group on facebook where we talk about only my products my processes and what i've got going on um, if you want to learn more about detailing, be a part of something bigger than detailing, check out the group. We'll get you in there and learning about my products and processes. Uh, if you want to check out the what I consider and many people consider the best detailing products on the planet, of course, I would say that. My name's on every bottle. Uh, check out DetailJuice.com. And like I said, if you got questions for me, just let me know. Thanks so much for listening to me babble. I appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day.